South Korean President Lee Myung-bak has called for preparations against a possible nuclear test by North Korea. Lee has ordered all government agencies to be on high alert. It comes as South Korea has started a joint military exercise with the U.S. Navy. The drills are being conducted off South Korea's east coast. Let's cross over to Harry Fawcett in Seoul for more. And Harry, what do these uh, joint naval exercises involve? Well, they're called a combat readiness test, according to the South Korean and U.S. military. They are exercises which uh, are very large in scale in terms of uh, two uh, large U.S. ships, a submarine and an Aegis-equipped cruiser. That's the anti-missile deten detection and shooting down system that the United States has. There's an Aegis-equipped South Korean vessel as well as nine other South Korean vessels. So these things take a good deal of time to plan. They can't have been put together in the last few days in terms of responding to North Korea's threatened nuclear test. But certainly the timing is significant and a senior South Korean military official did allow himself to be quoted in the media here saying that they are a show of force to Pyongyang at this time. And I spoke to a military analyst a few minutes ago saying a very similar thing that at times of heightened tension you will see these large-scale military maneuvers south of the border. Um, as well as that, uh, these the, the North Koreans have, have uh, called these war exercises uh, aimed at an invasion of North Korea. But as well as what's happening off the east coast of South Korea, has been what's happening here in Seoul. Two government ministers have been talking today, the foreign minister and first the unification minister. North Korea should pay the price for its provocation. We will implement the UNSC sanctions with practical effect. If North Korea continues to provoke despite our efforts, our government will use its role as a member of Security Council to urge the international community to promptly carry out additional countermeasures against North Korea on the basis of Resolution 2087. Now, why that's interesting is that on the 25th of January, North Korea said that if, if South Korea directly took part in these UN sanctions, it would, um, if the puppet group of traitors takes a direct part, the DPRK, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, will take strong physical countermeasures against it. Now, the minimum you'd expect would be to go through with the planned nuclear test. It could mean something more directly targeted at South Korea, the South Korean government deciding on Monday to very publicly face up to that threat. Right, that's a Harry Fawcett joining us from Seoul. Harry, thank you.